With your account funded, you may be interested in buying your first share. Please only do this once you have watched all the videos in this course. But for the sake of improving your understanding, let's take the company Apple as an example. At the time of creating this video, it currently, in order to buy one share of Apple, would cost you $300. A simple type in the Google search bar, Apple share price, will reveal this. If you try to purchase a share of Apple on your trading platform, this price should be displayed somewhere. Now, this price, who comes up with this price? The answer, quite simply, is the market. The market is made up of multiple people like you and me who buy and sell shares. Now, companies do not have an unlimited amount of shares available for purchase. Like the example we did earlier, when the founders of the company initially go to register the business, they have to determine the number of shares they want the company to be made of. When you have a company which subsequently has a limited amount of shares, the buyers and sellers in the market will ultimately determine the price of the share. When you have a high demand for a share, for example, many people want to buy the specific share of a company, the price naturally goes up. The same way as when you have a company with shares that people don't want to buy, the price will then go down. Now that you know these concepts, there's one more thing I want to touch on. How can we calculate what the whole of Apple is worth? Well, quite simply, we take the share price and multiply it by the number of shares which have currently been issued by the company. The number of shares can be found in the income statement, but we will get there later. Right now, if you want to find what the entire company is worth, you can quickly find this value by searching for the company's share price on the internet. If you look where the red arrow is, it is right there. The total value of the company is commonly referred to as its market capitalization. At the time of doing this video, we can see that Apple has a market capitalization, a total worth of $1.38 trillion. This leads me to my first analogy, which I adapt throughout this course in order to explain the many concepts of value investing. Think of the price of a share the same way as the price of a house. Imagine there is a house in your suburb which goes up for sale. This house may have many desirable factors which may make people want to buy it, i.e. location or build quality. The house initially lists for $500,000. Buyers in the market may find this house very appealing. Many people may go to visit this house. Let's say five people put down money for the purchase price of $500,000. Obviously the seller can only sell to one person. So what happens? Well, the price is bid up until the person who offers the highest price is the last person standing. Let's say for example that one buyer offered the highest price of $530,000. This is the person who gets the house and that is how the price of the house can increase. It all comes down to the demand. Likewise, you could have a house list for $500,000, but the market may not look kindly on the location or the condition of the house. No one may put in an offer for $500,000, and the seller may only be able to get $460,000 for the property. This is how the market works. Depending on the demand of the house, or in our case share, the price will go up or down.